This has not been a great year for MAGA prisoners, people who are currently being held behind bars because they just love Donald Trump and his movement too much. And so we've got one guy, he has found a way to cope with this and it involves making comic strips of him and R. Kelly. Now that's the fun part. The less fun part is why he's in jail. So this is Brendan Hunt, a 37 year old who once worked as a New York State Office of Court Administration clerk and whose father served as a judge in Queens, was arrested by the FBI back on January 19th, the day before inauguration. In June, a jury found him guilty of making a series of threats to kill members of Congress following President Joe Biden's victory last November. Now, you probably would ask, why would someone be so angry about the results of the election that they'd wanna kill people? Nobody knows, there's <laughs> no, we can't, we have no information to base that on. But while he was being detained, in a federal jail in Brooklyn, he shared a cell with R. Kelly. He was actually in jail with R. Kelly. And so uh, as like a way of showing that he has become a far different man than the one who went into the criminal justice system like three months earlier, uh, he's released these comics. And the comics feature him and R. Kelly. I mean, I guess if you have a celebrity cameo you can use, you'll use it. Here it is, it's called King Sized Annual Edition Prison Comics. And it involves him getting fit with R. Kelly. And I swear to God, this is true. They're doing yoga, reading from Yoga 101. And I believe I can fly is playing in the background. Now you might have another follow up question. Wait, what are you talking about playing in the background? It's a comic. He drew it in the background with notes. They're doing yoga to I believe I can fly. You can see it there in the middle bottom part as they're both doing, I'm gonna say, an a sort of warrior pose, I'm not sure. Mm -hmm. um, I don't, I've never heard of this as a legal strategy for getting released from prison JR, but it is, it's bold. Is that I the plan? That. They're, they're, they wanna show that he's different, that he's changed, that now he's centered, he's found yoga, he's found a positive role model in R. Kelly. Mm -hmm. But anyway, and, uh, this is what he's got. Well, so if, not, if anything else, he's just exhibiting his drawing skills here, but yes. it's so weird. So somebody gets a cellmate with R. Kelly, who has been raping and, and assaulting and, and yep. doing horrible things with underage girls for a very long time. And instead of saying, hey, I'd like a transfer, I'm not sure if you can ask for that. <laughs> but instead it's like, this is good. You know, I have a good idea. Let me draw some comics of me and R. Kelly, cuz that'll get me out. And you know what, honestly, as I say it, Maybe it is a good idea. The upside down version of our of our justice system. Uh, you can't you can't underestimate what they'll consider as a good reason for something like this. Yeah, or I, I mean, is he going to continue? Is this going to become a strip? Is he going to get famous? Is he going to get insta famous? TikTok? We'll see. I, we'll see if he ends up on a Patreon or something. Apparently, it was a warrior pose. So credit to John Darola oh, for correctly yeah. doing that. Anyway, um, yes, they had said that in a legal motion filed by his uh, attorney. Uh, they capture something more profound about the humanizing communality that can be found even in the most dehumanizing conditions. So that's good, that's good. So this is his, his, his output, his creative output. And I have to say, I like it more than his previous creative output. Like for instance, um, this was what he wrote on December 6 on Facebook. Trump, we want actual revenge on Democrats, meaning we want you to hold a public execution of Pelosi, AOC, Schumer, etc. And if you don't do it, the citizenry will. We're not voting in another rigged election. Start up the firing squads, mow down these commies, and let's take America back. Mm. I like the new stuff with the yoga more. <laughs> you know, it's just more calming. Maybe it's a fall thing. I just want to drink some chai and like see R. <laughs> R. Kelly doing a warrior pose rather than mowing down the commies. It's so uh, it's it's um it's therapeutic, John. And that's and you know and, and it sounds like I'm joking, but it is for them. Violence and imagery of violence and imagining how much you're gonna kill folks that you disagree with politically gets them like going. Damn. It's their it's it's their yoga, it's their energy. <laughs> and it's such an upside yeah. down world. But you know, and again, he's getting popularity for this. I'm not sure to the degree. Um but look this look, this is where we are. <laughs> I yeah. can't take this anymore. <laughs> Look, you, you, you can say whatever you want. He says he only did that because of literally a few bong reps. I don't know what that has to do with wanting okay. to mow down the commies. I don't know. He'd apparently been studying white supremacist and anti Semitic symbols, propaganda, and ideology in the months leading up to the election. He read Mein Kampf, the protocols of the learned elders of Zion. 
He went to the Daily Stormer. He read the manifesto of Dylan Roof. Okay, well, you know, balance that against the R. Kelly yoga. Honestly, I, the R. Kelly yoga isn't the worst thing on that list, but it's not the <laughs> best either. Anyway, also the cute on Shaman, he wants to get out of jail. He's going a different tactic, not with the yoga stuff. Uh, so, by, by the way, he's the, the one who had the horns and the, the fur and all that. Uh, so he uh, wrote in a 23 page sentencing memo, there was a quote where he put, uh, my mama always said, you've got to put the past behind you before you can move on. That is a quote from Forrest Gump, which he misspelled. But I get it, it's confusing mm -hmm. the 1R2R thing. So I, I don't understand mm -hmm. the Forrest Gump thing as a defense either. I don't know what is going on with the defense of these people. But they're moving in some weird directions that I don't know that it's necessarily gonna work. They're clowns, bottom line. They're clowns. clowns do clown things. Yeah, they do. We'll see, we'll see what happens. I don't know. I mean, they're they're not gonna spend the rest of their life in jail or anything like that. Those that didn't try to like um, you know, kill cops with their bare hands. Uh, but you gotta put your behind in your past. Pumba, blue lizard gut says. That's true. I would have gone with that. I would have spelled it P-O-O-M-B-A, but I would have gone in that direction. For more political news breakdowns, interviews, stories of activism, and me trying my hardest to care about the occasional big celebrity news story, subscribe to our YouTube channel at youtube.com slash the damage report. And you can ring the bell wherever it is so you don't miss anything.